In the shadowy depths of the Dark Ages, power struggles and uncertainty reigned supreme. It was a time of turbulent politics and territorial disputes, with Celtic tribes jostling for dominance. Battles were frequent, alliances were transient, and the power balance perpetually in flux. The tribes, each with their unique traditions and cultures, sought control, creating a landscape fraught with tension and conflict. With the advent of the Romans, the landscape underwent a significant transformation. Known for their grand architecture and pioneering engineering, they left a lasting legacy. Majestic aqueducts, roads that, that stretched across the length and breadth of the land, and grand structures that spoke of their superior construction techniques, marked their reign. Their architectural marvels not only showcased their superior engineering knowledge, but also their unwavering commitment to creating a civilization of grandeur and sophistication. However, even the reign of the Romans, known for its opulence, was ephemeral. The turning point in history came with the incursion of the Anglo-Saxons, fierce seafarers from distant shores. These formidable invaders with their distinctive traditions and commitment to warrior ethics swept across the land. Replacing the Romans, they forever altered the trajectory of history. Their impact was far-reaching, from the introduction of new languages and cultures to the establishment of kingdoms that would eventually shape the nations as we know them today. The Anglo-Saxons, fierce invaders from across the sea, soon replaced the Romans, changing the course of history in a profound, Fast forward to the pivotal 11th century, and we stumble upon a momentous event that changed the course of history, the Norman Conquest. Picture a time engulfed in chaos and transformation, an epic saga of invasion and profound change. The arrival of William the Conqueror, a charismatic yet ruthless leader, marked a new era. His rule was an amalgamation of strict discipline and revolutionary reforms. As a tactful ruler he imposed a new order, paving the way for a radically different England. This England, one significantly disparate from its old counterpart, was destined to shape the pattern of the ensuing centuries. Under the strategic oversight of William, William, architecture underwent a remarkable evolution, effectively transforming the face of the land. Using the power vested in him, he commissioned the construction of strong sturdy castles that were not just fortifications but also residences for the Norman nobility. These majestic structures resting majestically against the sky, began to punctuate the English landscape. Simultaneously cathedrals, magnificent testaments to architectural innovation and human ingenuity, started to emerge. These architectural marvels crafted with precision and an eye for aesthetics, combined Roman and Gothic styles that were introduced by the Normans. They were not merely buildings but symbols of Norman dominance. With their towering spires and intricate stone carvings, they began to define the landscape, leaving an indelible mark on England. These timeless feats of architecture still captivate us today, standing as proud reminders of a bygone era that continues to influence the E. Let's delve into the Tudor era, a pivotal period in the UK's history that served as a hotbed for political, cultural and social transformations. This era is most famously associated with the dramatic lives of Henry VIII's many wives. Each wife had her own tale. There was Catherine of Aragon, the loyal wife discarded due to her inability to produce produce a male heir. Anne Boleyn, who was beheaded on false charges. Jane Seymour, who died after giving Henry his much-coveted son. Anne of Cleves, who was divorced due to her supposed lack of beauty. Catherine Catherine Howard, yet another executed wife. And finally, Catherine Parr, who managed to outlive the tyrannical king. Then there was the rule of Queen Elizabeth I, an era peace. Elizabeth, known as the Virgin Queen, proved a savvy and strategic ruler, demonstrating remarkable diplomatic deftness in her dealings with other European powers. She championed, she championed the arts and her reign is considered a golden age of English history. The era was also defined by the Renaissance, a period of revitalization in art, learning and literature. The arts flourished with the likes of Shakespeare penning timeless masterpieces that captivated audiences, education giving rise to new ideas and philosophies, the culture of the time underwent a seismic shift, forever altering the nation's identity, the political machinations, the intense rivalries and the cultural revolution all reached their zenith in this era. And of course one cannot overlook the daring voyage of Sir Francis Drake, who made history by circumnavigating the globe. This was truly an era of discovery, both geographically and intellectually. The 17th century witnessed an extraordinary phase in history, where the United Kingdom's empire expanded far and wide, stretching its influence across continents from Asia to Africa and the Americas. 
This era was an epoch of immense growth, not just in terms of geographical boundaries but also economic might and cultural influence. The growth was fueled by a fervor for international trade and the quest for territorial expansion, which ushered in unprecedented prosperity. Yet such expansion wasn't devoid of its complexities. It sparked conflict both within the nation's borders and beyond, with imperial rivals sparring for global dominance. Simultaneously, the onset of the Industrial Revolution triggered a profound transformation within Britain's societal fabric, the ripples of which can today. The Industrial Revolution was not a mere change, but a metamorphosis that saw a shift from agrarian economies to a mechanized and industrialized society. It was characterized by an explosion of significant technological innovations and discoveries that irrevocably altered the landscape of human civilization. The notable advancements of this period included the groundbreaking advent of steam engines and cotton mills, which revolutionized transportation and the textile industry, respectively. These innovations placed Britain squarely at the forefront at the forefront of global advancement, setting a pace of progress that other nations aspired to match. From the hissing steam engines that powered locomotives and ships, cutting travel time significantly, to the humming cotton mills that multiplied cloth production, Britain was the pulsating heart of this global progress. It was the epicenter where tradition met transformation, shaping the world as we know it today and setting the cornerstone for the modern age. The 20th century bore witness to two monumental world wars that forever etched deep scars on the face of the United Kingdom and deeply affected its people. The initial outbreak of World War I in 1914 heralded a bitter era of bloody conflict that spanned four long years. The catastrophic fallout of this war shook the core of the nation in unimaginable ways, testing their endurance in the face of adversity. The Great War was a brutal trial by fire, an unforgiving test of their resilience that claimed millions of lives and left a deep imprint on the collective psyche of the British people. Then came World War II, a narrative laced with tales of extraordinary heroism, unprecedented bravery, and heartbreaking sacrifice. British men and women stood unyielding in the face of mounting adversity, their determination to survive and persevere defied the odds. They fought valiantly under the harshest of conditions, their sense of duty and patriotism unbroken even in the face of the Nazi menace. The aftermath of these colossal conflicts was a nation left in ruins, but Britain, with its indomitable spirit, refused to crumble. Instead, they chose the path of ascension, a phoenix rising from the ashes of war-torn cities. The people of Britain rallied together, their collective will and relentless spirit propelling them towards recovery and resurrection. Emerging stronger from the ashes of war, the country embraced change and a new era of diversity. Britain ushered in a time of multiculturalism, welcoming different cultures, belief systems and ethnicities. This fostered a rich cultural tapestry that has become an integral part of Britain's identity today. They became a beacon of hope and resilience, proving that even in the darkest of times, the spirit of unity and diversity can light the way to a brighter future. Today the United Kingdom stands as a proud nation exuding a rich blend of history, tradition and the influence of the modern era. It is a vibrant melting pot of cultures and traditions, a place where the stately grandeur of centuries past seamlessly intertwines with the pulsating rhythm of the present. This nation has birthed cultural icons of global resonance, leaving an indelible imprint on the world's collective consciousness. Figures such as the legendary playwright Shakespeare, whose timeless works continue to be interpreted and enjoyed around the globe, and the Beatles, Beatles, whose revolutionary music forever changed the landscape of popular music and youth culture. Then there's the magical world of Harry Potter, the creation of author J.K. Rowling, which has enchanted millions of readers and viewers, fostering a love of reading in young people and inspiring a generation of writers. Moreover, the United Kingdom is a nation that basks in its sporting glory, with numerous on the global stage reinforcing its status as a sporting powerhouse. From the heart-stopping victories in cricket, including the unforgettable World Cup win in 2019, to the thrilling prowess displayed in football, with teams like Manchester United and Liverpool FC commanding a global fan base, UK sporting achievements are nothing short of extraordinary. Then there's the enduring British influence on the world, visible in everything from the English language spoken by billions worldwide, to the widely revered British fashion and design aesthetic, to the UK's contributions to global politics, science and technology. 
This remarkable country continues to etch its extraordinary story onto the canvas of the world, a testament to its powerful and enduring spirit. As we reach the final stages of this captivating journey let's not forget that history is not just a mere collection of facts. It is in fact a rich tapestry woven from the multitude of human experiences, a confluence of victory and defeat, of groundbreaking innovation, innovation, and the resilient spirit of mankind. Understanding this history is akin to unlocking a treasure trove, a trove that allows us to understand where we came from and where we are heading. Herein lies the profound importance of history. Every event, every human action that shaped the course of our world serves as a valuable lesson that can learn from. And with this newfound knowledge we can then go forth and enlighten others passing on the wisdom of our ancestors enriching the lives of those around us. This is the power of knowledge sharing, for it propagates growth, understanding and unity. If you found this exploration of the past as fascinating as we did, we encourage you to support our cause. Subscribe, like, share our work, and leave us your thoughts. Your support fuels our passion, enabling us to bring you more of such enthralling journeys into the heart of history. We are indeed grateful that you joined us on this stirring voyage through the United Kingdom's past. As we part ways, we implore you to stay curious, to never stop learning, and to keep the spirit of the kingdom alive in your hearts. Knowledge is is infinite, and so should be our pursuit of it. So until we meet again on another exciting exploration, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep the flame of knowledge burning bright. Thank you for joining us on this compelling tour through the history of the United Kingdom.